Hey and welcome to the MX-5 guide on Virginia North in iRacing. This track will feel tough when you try it for the first time, but I promise, give it a chance and after like 30 minutes you will get into the flow and you will start to love it. You can practice against my ghost, which might help you to find the flow a bit earlier. You can find the lab files on our community discord, which is linked in the description down below. Or you can also find the link to the telemetry on Garage 61. Approach the first turn on the far left edge of the track, hit the brakes hard shortly before you reach the 100 meter board and prepare to shift down into first gear. The one thing I want to point out here is that you can turn in quite late. You don't want to aim for a sharp entry where you attack the entry curb right away. Instead, you want to stick to the outside, turn in shortly before you reach the third spot on the left and keep the entry smooth and round. Get a smooth touch on the throttle and accelerate out of the turn. You don't want to be too aggressive on the throttle and go flat out right away because the turn is banked and if you are too aggressive then you might initiate a spin. Stick to the right side of the racing line and prepare a wide entry into the next double left hander. This step is a bit tricky because many different things are happening at the same time. You want to hit the brakes shortly before you reach the outside curb to slow the car further down. To keep the car stable in this position, you want to straighten the wheel for the duration of your brake inputs because that helps you to avoid the spin. And finally, I'm also using a manual blip into second gear which helps me to control the momentum of the car and sets me up for a smooth exit. If you struggle with manual blips, then I would recommend you to keep the wheel straight for a slightly longer duration where you decelerate or you can also use the auto blip assist this week. Be patient and stay off the throttle as you wait for the car to turn, but once the car turned and you know that you will hit the exit, you want to be aggressive on the throttle and accelerate towards the next braking zone. Don't be afraid to shift into third when you hit a good run because you may max out the second gear on a good exit. If you look closely, then you can see that the track got a new surface at this point. Use the beginning of this area as marker for braking, hit the brakes and shift down into second gear. Aim for a smooth run around the curb and try to be early on the throttle because we are heading onto a long straight. We won't lift or brake for a long time, so if you miss this acceleration point, then you will lose time all the way down to the next braking zone. The next section has no secrets, you want to stay on the throttle, keep a tight grip on your wheel and just aim for a smooth line. For the next turn I'm using the bend in the edge of the track on the left side as marker for braking. You want to stick to the left, hit the brakes hard when you reach it and shift down into second gear. In this turn it's important to be brave. Since it leads uphill, you will be able to carry more speed into it than you will initially think. That's why I would recommend you to overdrive this turn as much as you can in your practice sessions. That's the quickest way to develop a feeling for it. Once you got it down, you want to aim for a tight line around the inside curb and be aggressive on the throttle. Don't be afraid to use the space on the exit. As long as you stay on the throttle, then it won't cost you any time. Dip into the grass on the right to prepare a wide entry into the next left hander and turn in as soon as you reach the pathway on the right. Your main goal for the next two turns is to hit a clean line by preventing the car from sliding because that slows you down. In most runs, you will be able to stay on the throttle here and work only with your wheel. But when you hit a great exit out of the previous uphill right hander, then you will need to lift a bit on the turn ends to keep the car stable. You can use the barrier on the far left or the approaching curb in front of your markers for braking here. You want to approach the turn on the left edge of the track, hit the brakes hard and shift down into first gear. The key in this turn is to be patient again, but this time on the brakes. So take your time, slow the car down, you don't want to overdrive it in this braking zone because that won't get you anywhere except into the next forest right ahead of us. A 
It's a small detail, but make sure that you clip this outside curb. If you clip it, then you have enough time to rotate the car and set it up for the last turn. When you reach this point, then you want to turn in and aim for the upcoming inside curb. Straighten your wheel when you reach the inside curb to keep the car stable and hit the brakes to adjust your speed for the last turn. When you reach this spot, then you have two options. You can stay in third gear and rely on the brakes throughout the last turn, or you can use a manual blip to shift down into second gear. Both options are equally viable, it's just that based on my experience and practice, the manual blip allowed me to hit more consistent lap times. I hope you learned something new. Now you can let it settle in the cockpit lab. I wish you all the best for the next weekend. See you next time.